Hi there, in this video today I'm going to show you how you can connect up your Bluetooth headphones to your Nintendo Switch. Now unfortunately we can't just do this via the Bluetooth menu in the Switch, it doesn't work. So we're going to have to connect up another piece of equipment to get it to work, but it does work really well. This is what we need, it's a little Bluetooth transmitter. So if you have a look there, you will see it says wireless transmitter. Make sure you get a transmitter and not a receiver. They're not expensive, this is a good quality one and this one only costs 18 UK pound from places like Amazon and eBay. And what we have to do is we have to pair this up with your Bluetooth device. And then once these two are paired up with each other, whatever we plug in here will carry the audio through this and transmit it over to this via Bluetooth. So, if you look at the Nintendo Switch here, at the moment the sound's coming through the Switch itself. And let's say we didn't want to disturb people, we can just plug that in there like so, and now all the sounds will come through here. And you can put the volume up and down via the switch. And as you can hear, it goes really loud. Also, we can control the volume via here. So if we have it loud on the switch, and then we've got our plus and minus on the volume here, and we can just make it quieter. And now make it louder. There we go. So that's how to do it when it's in handheld mode. But So if you have a look at the back of your TV, hopefully you should have a headphone jack there. And then all you have to do is get your wireless transmitter, plug it into there, and now it's going to output that audio from the TV this time to here. And you can hear it there. And again, you can control the volume via your headphones here. That's quieter. And now louder. Now it's not quite as loud when you do it through the TV, so you might have to find that you've got the TV on slightly louder volume than normal. Also, remember that this device here will give you about over five hours of use, but it will need to be recharged. So what you can do is you can either use a USB port on the TV, or you can use a USB port on the back of your switch. So let me just quickly show you it charging up. So if you have a look now, I've got my USB cable plugged into the switch. And if you have a look, I've got the red light charging now. So you can use it and charge it at the same time. And again, if you didn't want to use your switch, if you've got spare USB ports on the back of your TV, you can just plug it in there like so. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. 